How to find or recognize a good church to fellowship with, a biblical research and teaching ministry. If you have a true heart's desire to know that true God, God will make himself available to you. First, are you just looking for a church or are you looking for a place to fellowship that will teach you how to read and understand the Bible? That is the type of ministry I am talking about. I will share with you some pointers. I'll share my story, then why some people miss their calling. Some pointers. I thought if God created the heavens and the earth, truth would have to be available today, back to when holy men of God first wrote. This church or body of believers will help you know you are saved and learn how to search the scriptures. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and in verse 4, who would have all men to be saved and come into the knowledge of the truth. You must recognize there is truth. Truth is available. That ministry would teach you how to search the scriptures, to understand it for yourself. Acts 17, 11, <clears throat> verse 11. These Bereans in context were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. The, Re the Bereans were more noble. Searching the scriptures help you see the love of God more deeply for the more than abundant life, which includes heavenly rewards. And in Luke chapter 6, verse 23a, Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, great in heaven. Finding truth and believing offers fantastic rewards. All of man's rewards on earth with his riches for 120 years will be minute compared to God's rewards in the future forever. <laughs> now, being honest with myself, this is a true story. <clears throat> in my late teens, I had a friend who went to private school. This school only had a <laughs> handful of girls versus the boy. So we visited churches, even different denominations to meet girls. We also attended their Sunday schools. Now I was also listening to the teachers and the preachers. Fast forward a few years, being a very opinionated person, my girlfriend asked me, why did I think I was so right? <laughs> I realized I had no basis for my belief, no truth. I was honest with myself. That is a key. That is a key. So I pray, God, whoever you are, you have to show me in one year. So I tried a few things I heard I had to do. I tried a few things I heard I had to do to get God's attention. So I tried a few at once. I faced the east on a rug, naked before the Lord, and fasted for three days. Yes, I did. Then I began reading the Bible. I could not put the scriptures together or really understand and ended up more confused. But I was not going to tell anybody that, you know, I'm reading and understanding. <laughs> I was trying to read at lunch break on my job when I think every Christian at the job invited me to their church. I turned them down because I had already been to their churches a few years back. At those churches, I did get a good feeling and enjoyed the choir <laughs> and the stories in the Sunday school classes, but I did not learn how to read the Bible and understand it for myself, nor did I see any situation or teachings or classes that would do that. It was still reading a kind of like a quarterly that fed you, just fed you some more stories. Then <clears throat> another God from my job asked, understand it what thou readest? and invited me to his house to hear the first part of a Bible class. 
What I learned in that class is how the scriptures interpret itself and that I was not to interpret it. <laughs> the rest is history. I did go back to several churches to try and find out why these keys were not taught in mainstream churches and to check myself against other churches' teachings, see if somehow I was wrong seeing the scriptures fit. In fact, I did this for three years before I made a commitment to fellowship with this ministry. Oh, I still listen and go to other churches sometimes and enjoy a positive message and acquire with friends and relatives. I can do this because I can separate truth from error. I can read books and see weird movies and even read weird books because, and then from successful people, I can separate, separate out what really works and what they may have cheated in. I can separate truth from error. You cannot teach yourself or why would you reinvent the wheel when trying to learn the Bible? You can't teach yourself. Did you learn mathematics? Did you learn calculus and all that stuff on your own, even though you knew how to add, multiply, multiply and subtract? <laughs> Acts 80, Acts, Acts 80, Lord have mercy. Acts chapter 8, verse 30 through 31. <clears throat> And Philip ran thither to him. To him is the Ethiopian in a chariot. And he heard that Ethiopian read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understand it what thou readest? And he said, the Ethiopian said, How can I except some man should guide me? And the Ethiopian desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. You see, the word of God is available. God created the heavens and the earth. Don't, don't forget that. <laughs> if you're honest and make an effort to seek God, he will get the right people in front of you. So how do people miss it? Let's look at James chapter 1, verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed <laughs> enticed is like sweet talked out of that desire to get to know God they get caught up in churches that have good connections for business pretty people <laughs> nice choir good social relations bowling teams softball teams entertaining preachers and the list goes on these are okay things but the first priority is getting to the scriptures to be taught to the end that that individual is growing in scriptures, not church doctrine. This is the only true way to get a personal relationship with God. People are drawn away by families or family cultures, beliefs. You know, they say, I was born a Catholic, <laughs> Muslim, Jewish, Baptist, or Lutheran, and the list goes on. The relatives get on your back for not attending the churches they are a part of for years. Even though you notice there's no structure for teaching you how to allow the scripture to interpret itself. <laughs> People are sincere, but it does not prove truth. I was very sincere in my opinionated days. I know some men... <laughs> I know some men that join certain religions to have more than one wife like King David did in espousing the law because they have to espouse the law to engage in more than one wife. <laughs> but the underlining lust is more than one wife. Homosexuals ignoring and twisting scriptures and starting their own churches. And it's very clear love has, God has, uh, love has guidelines in the Bible. That's why I should say it. The love of money has twisted many churches. Well, I understand that. Look how hard it is to, to live, to, to stay in a home, and then they get offered one deal that they say they may do one time and feel like evil, that one evil thing will counteract all the good things they may do. Then they get caught up because you bought the lie. The biggest difference is the Holy Spirit field. The biggest difference I have seen among churches and religions that are even good at teaching do not understand the Holy Spirit field. The gift of Holy Spirit is your power base. 
and the enemy is willing to offer anything to keep you from learning this field. Beautiful churches with beautiful people having fun, but you don't get your rewards in eternal life. You might get saved, but you may not uh, uh, get to the word of truth. You should be able to open the Bible and show people how to get saved and know they are saved without guessing or feelings. How to believe. What is faith? Angels, good and bad. Devil spirits. What is the difference between God and Jesus Christ definitively? You are to be an ambassador of Christ and answer many questions from scriptures is the goal. All of this will take effort on your part. One thing to remember, there are great rewards for your efforts that are eternal, which is better than a few years with riches. Make time to make an effort to learn how the scriptures interpret itself, then truly help others for great rewards in eternity. A certain disciple.